Hi, welcome to the Kasner Group at Iron Valley Real Estate of Central PA. We are continuing down the home selling journey and tonight we are talking about what everybody wants to talk about, money. So remember the listing consultation, we went over the estimated net proceeds. Well, today we're gonna to talk about the anticipated closing costs that actually gets you to that net proceed sheet. So what are you the seller responsible for paying for? Well, let's break it down. Lucky for you, it's a lot simpler to explain than what the buyer costs are. So as the seller, it is customary across the United States and Canada that the seller pays the commission of both agents. How did that become a thing? Well, buyer agency really wasn't a thing until the mid 1980s when it became super popular. And before that, the listing agent actually got the entire commission. So the average commission in the state of Pennsylvania and pretty much across the nation is about 6%. Before buyer agency existed, that listing agent was taking that entire 6%. And every agent that had a potential buyer that was walking that buyer through the property technically represented you, the seller, because buyer agency did not exist. So they could not advise the buyer, which as the seller, you're probably thinking that is amazing, but it caused so much confusion and legal battles that it served no one. The buyer was left unprotected and you were stuck with a potential buyer who didn't understand the process because the agent couldn't actually legally inform them of what their rights were or what the process actually looked like because it didn't benefit you necessarily as the seller. So Mr. and Mrs. Seller, that is how sellers became responsible for the agent commission. They were always responsible for it but now instead of the listing agent getting the whole pie, it is split between the two listing, the two listing and buyer agent broker. That way, both parties are represented. We are much more likely to get to close and get you moving on your way for the most amount of money. The other thing that is a closing cost to the seller is what is called a broker transaction fee. So every broker charges a flat transaction fee. This fee covers general admin of the broker that's responsible for helping with the sale of your property. The other thing is in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, there is currently a 2% transfer tax. How do we deal with that? Who pays for it? Well, the fair way. Seller pays for 1%. Buyer pays for 1%. So while the buyer doesn't pay for the agent commission because it would be 100% cost prohibitive for them to pay their down payment, closing costs in order to get into a property, they do pay the 1% transfer tax. So if you're selling your property at $600,000, then 1% of that is 6,000. So that would be your portion of the transfer tax. The next thing that is a cost to the seller is the deed preparation. Don't worry, we're almost done. The list does not keep going like it does on the buyer side. So you are responsible for the deed preparation as the seller that's generally between $150 and $200, really not a big deal. And any small notary fees, usually between $15 and $25 that are gonna happen at the settlement table to notarize your signatures and make everything kosher and reportable at the, at the uh, public records. So the last thing that you are responsible for really paying for is some of the recording fees. The flood cert, which is about usually under $10, just to verify that you're not in a floodplain, or if you are, that you are, because that's an indicator to the buyer's lender that they are going to have to secure federal flood insurance if it's, in a, if it's a federal loan or whether or not they'll have the option to secure it with private flood insurance. The other thing that is going to be your responsibility is usually about $25 is a tax certification fee. That is required for every seller. It helps them certify what the taxes are so that you can be reimbursed for the portion of the tax year that the buyer is actually living in the home. So that's a breakdown of the anticipated closing costs. I promise it is not nearly as bad as it sounds because what really matters to you is that we're able to net you the most money. And remember when we went over those two numbers, what your maximum amount ideal range is for your home to sell at and what your minimum is. Our goal is to get you well above your minimum. So let's work together and figure out a really solid listing strategy for you and really help educate you on what those costs are going to be and how you're still going to come out a winner. Look so forward to talking to you a little bit more. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a shout at homesellersinyourarea at gmail.com. Have a great day.